Raymond, do you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is actually you're not in Canada right now, are you? No. You're uh, are are you perhaps at E3, Nick? Who would have ever guessed? Oh my gosh, does that mean there's gonna be a new Forwards of Horizon game? I thought it would be fun. Okay, we should also explain. Uh, today's actually what day is it today? Tuesday. Today we are Tuesday. It's fifth or sixth. Tuesday, the fifth of June. Yeah, there you go. Um, so at the time of recording this, there hasn't been any leaks or anything like that. So if there is a leak uh, between now and and E3, and our predictions we don't are know wrong about it. Yeah, exactly. But we thought it would be fun to do some predictions in today's video. We're gonna do a series of challenges. Challenges. However, for each one of those challenges, you are gonna need to use a car that you think will be in the trailer for Forza Horizon 4. Oh shit, okay. So, the all way right. we're gonna do it is oh we're, we're gonna be going through a bunch of challenges and talking about things. Those are all gonna be points, but if the car you use in the race is in the trailer, then you get an additional point. point. All right. So Yo, we're not actually is... gonna know who wins until tomorrow, but um, follow us on Twitter to find out who actually won. This is, this is, uh, this is good. So, the first thing I'm going to say is go and get any car you like, B-Class, come car, back out here. Any car I like or any car that I think I like that'll be in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, everything has to be in the trailer. Alright, sounds good. Everything. So, B-Class has to be in the trailer. Like, do you go, like, on a on a no. whim and so, go, like, they're going to choose something different or are they going to choose something iconic like the no, DB5? No, so, they're going to go for crowd pleasers. Things that not just car fanatics can relate to, but everyone can immediately identify what it is. No, they're not going to go for anything that's material and mysterious. So no, nothing. Or like actually, the other thing that you have to keep in mind is sometimes like brands do cool things with licenses. Well, yeah, but we're in B class right now, so that's irrelevant. No, but say there's a big Ford partnership, there will be more Fords. I think I'm going to make quite a safe prediction. Ford Raptor F-150. I I would imagine that there will be a Raptor. There's been a Raptor in, like, every Forza game. All right, I'm doing this. You're taking an old GTR. Because here's the thing. If it's in Japan... Oh, so, okay. Okay, that, I like what your I'm thinking. Putting, that's I like what I'm putting thinking. my money on. Because I, I honestly... We'll come back to that. Yeah. After. I am very wet right now. <laughs> that's getting cut out. Nope, that's getting included. Okay, so, Raymond. Yes. You think there's going to be an old GTR in the trailer, and I think there's going to be a Ford Raptor. So, if either yep. of these cars in the trailer... That's Extra one point, point for each of us. There you go. Um, now, here's the thing. The winner of this race spreadsheet to keep track for us. doesn't matter anything. What? It doesn't matter. Who the, wins race? the race? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, because the main thing, I think, uh, for the Forza game is where it's going to be. Uh, okay, well, said, what are you doing? You said the race doesn't matter. I'm not going. All right. Anyways, uh, where do you think the game's going to be? If you get the location right, you get another point. Okay, so... Can I tie it into why I chose this car? Well, yeah. So my thought process was I had no idea what car to pick in B-Class, but if it's in Japan, my thought is there's going to be JDM cars, henceforth the GTR. Makes sense. Makes sense. That was my thought process. I like what you picked. I'll tell you why after you explain. Well, I I don't I honestly don't know where it would be, but I feel like there will definitely be off-roading shown off in the trailer. Yeah, that's so, what I was thinking. So, what is the best off-roading car? And Forza also has a huge affiliation with Ford. So, Ford Raptor. Yeah. Brand new. That, that, uh, for location, though, so you're saying Japan. I would honestly say just to be different, as much as I would like Japan, I would say UK. Okay. But, okay. Now, here's where we come to the speculative part, because you've investigated this. Yep. Knowing what you know from rumors, what do you think is more likely? Uh, it's very close between Japan and the UK. Okay. It's one of those. So it's either going to be really narrow streets where you can have no fun on, or mountain roads, deja vu all day, every day. Yes. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. There you go. So I think I have a point, is, yeah. what, is what we're saying. Well, you, maybe not. Honestly, if I was you, I'm going with the toss. JDM thing. It's a coin toss. It's very much a coin toss. I would have taken, instead of the GTR, I don't think they're going to take take that particular GTR? Yeah, they'd probably take the R34. No, I would have said RX-7. I don't know why I feel like an RX-7 is more likely than an old If GTR. it is Japan, and if, if Toyota is in the game, because we don't know if it is or not, Yep. Um, there's definitely going to be an A86 in there. Because I definitely know that they have, because a huge amount of people that play Fords are aware of this initial B series. Yep. So I feel like them paying homage to that would be like, just like making a bunch of people happy and like, sort of like come in their pants happy. I finished! All right, and we have no idea what the score is. <laughs> All right, go and get an A-class car, Raymond, that you think is going to be in the trailer. All right, I found my car. Oh. 
Are you just going all in with this JDM thing? Okay, no, 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 no. Not all in with the JDM, all with the GTR, because I know there will at least be one GTR in the trailer. And if they show what? Imagine if they show all of them lined up together. Oh, you're going to get so many points. Exactly. This is like the ultimate gamble. This is great. Uh, there you go. I'll take that. Okay, just a significant sig significant sig 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 What's the word I'm looking for? I just it's an F-type SVR, okay? Just pretend. We don't have it in the game. I have another question for you. You need to try to figure out or predict predict one new feature that they will add in the terms of like upgrading. So oh, like for Horizon 3, yeah, customization. Okay. Like in Horizon 3, they added the cart and they added, uh, what was the other thing? And they added wide bodies. What do you think for Horizon 4 will be a possible new feature or new new customization thing? Can you go first? Because I need to think about this. I haven't had the time to premeditate my answer. I would say stickers on windows, I feel like. Well, they didn't but seven, no? Nope. Okay, they nope. only did it with the Hoonigan cars. Yeah, yeah, there's only one car in the game that you can have stickers on the windows. Okay. But those stickers come stock. Yeah. yeah I yeah, feel yeah. like you're going to be able to put stickers on windows, though. Whether it be, like, the side windows or the back window. Probably, maybe not the front. So... You can have more than one, by the way. Yeah, so, uh, my thought process, although it's not exactly car customization. Yeah. It is a function of it. Okay. Um... So you know how you can go and download tunes. I don't think this is likely, but this is something that I would like. Yeah. Instead of downloading tunes, people can buy your tunes and then they can adjust them instead of the profile being locked. But could you share it again after that? Yeah. Oh, but people only, won't like that. Only within a certain parameter of like, you know what I mean? People won't like that. People won't like that? No. Nope. Because I feel like they could do something like big with wide bodies again. Like, I know, I, yeah. I would assume they'll add more. The, the, yeah, so like customization wise, apart from adding more, there's not too much to do. So you don't think there's going to be anything huge? I don't think there's going to be anything huge. I guess that's a point in itself, possibly, if they don't right? change anything. I think it's going to be all small stuff. All like, all quality of life stuff, but nothing like, oh my god, this is spectacular, right? Yeah, I get you. I think your car is more likely now. Why? It's a lot more famous than the than the older one. Yeah, but the, the thing with, like, I explained it earlier. I don't know if you're going to leave it in, but, uh, victory. God damn it. Anyways, they're going to show a GTR in the trailer. It wouldn't make sense for them not to show yeah. this one. All right, Raymond. S1. He's already laughing. Why are you laughing? Because I know what car I'm taking. I know what car I'm taking, too. You took the 2017 GTR. Yeah. See, I took the 2012. My thought process is they're going to show the newest one. Either way... If they show all the GTRs. See, I'm my thought process is that they would show off the wide body one. So this one we'll have to figure out which year of GTR is correct. If it's the older one, if it has a wide body kit, mine I mean, is it could correct. Be a 2017 for wide body. I don't think they're gonna put it. I don't think they're gonna put it. You never know. Maybe they're looking ahead. I don't. Trying to please some fanboys. It's possible. I just think they're gonna put the older one in. Anyways, Raven. So. Wow, we sound the same. <laughs> We sound absolutely the same. Yeah, well, they're the exact same engine. So every year, they always like to add in new, like, features. Like for Horizon 3, one of the big things was obviously drone mode. Yes. Hopefully what do you better. think a new feature for Forza Horizon 4 will be? Cinematic mode. What do you mean cinematic mode? You know what the devs are able to do, like in uh, the dev kit? Yep. If they were able to give us even half of those tools... The amount of fun the community would have making videos. Okay. Like, that would be awesome. And that was actually really close to what I was thinking. And actually, I was thinking, like, has it now. that's exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking of a video editor, like the Crew 2 or, like, yeah. uh, well, that's, Rockstar Editor. Well, that's exactly editor. what I was thinking. So we're guessing the same thing. Is that what's happening? Ah, shit. Okay. That's exactly um, what I meant. It just didn't come out right. No, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I, I would also say, though, okay, go convertibles. Ahead. I think yes. it, you'll actually be able to put your roof down. Do you think so? Yeah, I think I you'll be able to put your roof will, down. But it would be pretty freaking awesome if we could. Something that basic, I feel like you're gonna be able to do. Nick, uh, how you doing? Uh, my car's not fully upgraded, by the way. What? My car is not fully upgraded. Okay, that explains a lot. Oh, it's true. You were, uh, you had issues. I just come up with a second one as well. Yeah, a second feature. And I didn't have time to think about these things. Ahead I mean, you don't of time. lose Maybe points. Maybe you sent me the questions ahead of time. No, no, it's just um, create your own race. Oh, shit. Like being able to put your own checkpoints? Place your own checkpoints. Create your own race. That's a good if call. If that is a thing, Forza Horizon 4, take my money now. I don't even care about the rest of the game. It could just be Forza Horizon 3 with you being able to create your own races. I don't care. Just take it. That's a good call. 
Well played, buddy. Yes, I'm just saying. You might be right. Could I think be. you are right. It could be. We'll see. It's something we've been asking for. Okay. Now, we've done three different classes of cars. Yes. This one is going to be called the wild card one. Okay. You're going to be able to choose any car you'd like, but it's worth double points. Okay. I'm going all in on Japan. Are you serious? I'm going all in on Japan. I was just thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I should, like, split my thing because I took, like... I mean, no, because here's the thing. There's no mm. point splitting at this point because if it is Japan, I'm most likely going to win. Because if this is in Japan and they don't put this in the trailer, I don't I'm going care. with this. I have to go safe. I have to go safe. I'm going hard. If they don't put this in the trailer and it's in Japan, I'm actually going to lose my shit. You are playing really fucking risky with Toyota. Oh, shit. I am. No. Oh, why would you have to remind? Oh, really risky. Ah, fuck you, Toyota. I think I just bought my twelfth R8 in the game. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I have some solid car choices this I, time. I feel like I feel like I just did a coin toss this entire challenge. If it's not Japan, you lose. It is. It is. Actually, no, maybe not, because my guesses might be right for features. I think the GTR. And then there might be a true. GTR in the trailer, even if it's it is UK, right? Yeah. Might not be the 27. I also think there might be an RX-7 in the trailer. The RX-7 is definitely high on my list. Right. So I'm maybe not completely screwed. Yeah. All right. So for this one, I wanted to talk about the cars. Yep. They always like to mention one car brand specifically that is not like the cover car. So for like Forza Motorsport 7, they were like, we have the most Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and Porsches in any video game okay, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think that brand will be that they will specifically call out that is not the cover car brand? Can I, can I make a joke? Sure. We have the most amount of any Toyotas in any game that's been released in the past year. <laughs> Here's the problem. I don't know the brands enough. They would definitely highlight whatever type of new vehicle. Because I feel because oh, that's true. probably not going to go the crew route, they might include some new kind of vehicle, right? Okay, so what type of new vehicle do you think they would include? Uh, I don't want to say bikes because that's so uncertain, but I don't know any other brands of stuff. Like, if it were, like, heavy off-roaders or rock crawlers or whatever. If they had to include a new type of vehicle. I mean, they added, like, three-wheelers and stuff. What's up, Nick? Honda bikes. You think? Okay. I, I'm going because uh, you're going YOLO mode. No, because here's the thing: if they're gonna talk, unless it's like a specific car brand. So far, Forza Horizon games. Every time they come around, they've added a new kind of vehicle every time around, right? Yep. So why stay safe? Because they're definitely gonna highlight that new vehicle. They obviously they're gonna tie into some brand, most likely. But if they highlight some kind of different vehicle, they're going to highlight that brand at some point. So they might end up highlighting more than one brand, right? Calling out Honda bikes specifically is actually a good call because they did work with Honda for a thing in Forza 7. You know what? Going off the vehicle type, like you were saying. Yeah, because it makes the most sense, right? I'm going to say going on a big whim here. It's okay. I've, I did that too. ATVs. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, but okay. I mean, they're four wheels. Do you know? Okay, you're just gonna say ATVs in general because that's not really a car brand. They're, well, I would say who class. makes who makes who makes ATVs? KTM, no. KTM? I'll, do they? KTM ATVs. I don't know if they do. I'm. Just I don't know. I don't know who makes ATVs either. For the final challenge. For the final challenge, you need to go and get what you think is going to be the next cover car. Now, okay. if your car's not in the game, you have to go in the closest thing to it and explain why. Well, McLaren Senna, not the P1. Obviously. Okay. Why do you have so many AMG GTs? I don't know. All right. Screw it. Old Faithful it is. This is the big one, Raymond. Nick has taken the McLaren. Well, oh. whatever McLaren. Well, it's the McLaren Senna. Yeah, the Senna. Not the P1. <laughs> well, I mean, the P1's already been a cover car. And that was, a few that was my thinking. They've worked with McLaren in the past. They've never had a Ferrari cover car, have they? Uh, No, they did. When? Forza Horizon. What? Four? It was a 458, wasn't it? You mean Forza Motorsport? You just said Horizon Our 4. Forza, Forza Motorsport. Yeah. Raymond, what the? Yeah, I put an off-road race since we're both in, like, really slammed down supercar, hypercars. Uh, but yeah, they have had a Ferrari on the cover before. So again, also possible. I mean, like, yeah, you know. The only problem I see with McLaren being a thing is that Sony had some special deal with the 720. Okay, yep. Which might hold them back, but I don't know. The McLaren Senna was in the files for the game as well. Okay, so you're saying the 488 Speciale, basically. Yeah. If there, is there a 488 Speciale? Is that I don't know, but sure, we'll the, allow the it. The spicy version of the 488, if it exists, or else I'm a dumbass, and you can all yell at me in the comments for being an uneducated club about cars. Yes. Okay. What do you think, if you don't think it's that car, what do you think the next logical brand would be? Okay, so 
that so the next logical thing with me would be either a another car announcement through the franchise like they did with Forza Motorsport 7 with the Porsche. Yep. And in that case, I would think it'd be Lamborghini, even though I doubt it, just because the past Horizon covers have been Lamborghinis. Yep. That That's the only reason why it, that would lead me to think that. That having been said, a lot can change, so I don't know. Okay. I would have to say Aston Martin. Okay, you're, you're putting your eggs on the basket that it's going to be British for the England. Yep. But they they've also got that. a James Bond in the works. You have to remember. Yeah. Or it could be something classic like the DB5. They wouldn't do that. You don't think? No racing game would put a classic car on their cover because it lacks one thing. Mass appeal. Versus if you put the newest Lamborghini. Everyone knows what a Lamborghini is and this one looks edgier and faster and spicier than all the other ones. Ooh. You know what I mean? This is going to be pretty close. So Raymond, those are our E3 predictions. So uh, if people want to do the score sheets for us. We will be finding out tomorrow who is the winner. We will be finding all about Forza Horizon 4. Uh, I'm going to actually be there, and I'm going to be playing Forza Horizon uh, on the channel in a couple of days, which is pretty cool. Have fun with that. Yep, and if Sick people want to know anything about Forza Horizon... Sick invite, Nick. Comments. Sick invite, Nick. Yeah, you don't get invited. Okay. <laughs>